Okay, just to show disassembly and assembly, as we said before, it is a, a job where you need an Allen key for. So it's just a standard Allen key. There's three screws. There's one there and two there. So we've already taken two out, so save time. This assembly is keyed in, so it's neat fit. As you can see, this goes inside there. Recoil abutment, basically, you'd probably call that in a bolt action rifle. So the, the upper is pulled tight against the, the lower. So as you can see here, we have the, the hammer. Everything else is very basic in there. I don't have the latch mechanism in there at the moment for reasons that I don't really want to show everybody. So that's very simple trigger mechanism, lower. In the upper, and I've just taken the springs out because I didn't want to have them flying around, um, we have two guide rods and two springs that locate into the bolt carrier. So this is the bolt carrier, which once it's back there, imagine with the springs and the guide rods on, these will come out together. And the trick with this over other ones is the small travel. Typical extractor, as you've probably seen before, ejector pin in the front, the same as everything else basically in the world. The key piece, the latch piece to stop the bolt from going back until it's in the right position. And then things so the bolt rotates 22 and a half degrees. There's eight lugs, do the, do the mass. So that assembly then into the barrel extension. That piece there. So that for cleaning, remove the bottom. You can spray in there with your favorite cleaner, whatever. Disassemble. To get at your barrel, you can use a, a snake or whatever you want to use. You've got great access to the chamber area. So obviously running a cleaning rod from this end, brush or whatever you have on there, pull back in a chamber brush. Um, some of those flexible brushes, um, rods that I've seen, you could actually probably come in from there to clean it. But, you know, the brushes with the 90 degree angle on, whatever you need to do to clean that area out. So cleaning the barrel doesn't need barrel be, to be removed. There's no need for that. You've got all this big open area here to pull things through. You, no need to do any more disassemble than that. Nice and simple. There's nothing to it. Uh, assembly is the same way. Bolt carrier and bolt. Just make sure it runs freely. Pull the bolt out, drop it in, it goes in, locks, all good. I'm not going to show you, so I don't have, there's an, a plate on the end of this that the two guide rods are attached to. So when you put it together, you are holding the plate and just dropping the whole thing as one piece. At the moment, I don't have the plate. We did get carried away a little bit today. So to reassemble, again, clean. Whatever your favourite type of lubrication is, I wouldn't recommend you need to put a lot of lubrication on this. It is good quality um, 7075 aluminium, not prone to galling or anything like that. Obviously, you do need some sort of lube. So once the springs are in there, align the, the bottom to the top, keys in, no movement, um, screws. The back screw is on a little bit of an angle. You can undo it slowly, or if you wish, just use your bigger Allen key, undo the bolt that holds the grip on, and the grip comes off and you can get a straight line at it. Either way, it probably takes the same amount of time, so it's not really whichever way you go. If you've got the Allen key with the ball on the end, then you could just loosen it and then undo it from there. So that basically takes care of that. We don't have the fore end on here to, to show you, but the fore end is basically four screws screw underneath the, the bottom there, slide off. You then have, it looks just a little bit jiggly because it's just sitting here. You do have then your gas system of pulling it back, pulling the rod out, pulling this one out. Uh, there will be a, a, a little um, four mil screw on the end of there with a spring so you can adjust it, but it won't fall out if you run got the gun disassembled. So it'd be taking the screw off. This can come out, not 100% necessary, because the main thing will be just cleaning inside there where the piston goes. Wipe the piston, wipe in there, 
make sure it travels back and forth freely, reassemble it. Paying attention to which of the indicators you were on as to which size hole for your gas is going to be working. So we probably envisage that you will have the centre one will be blocked off, left will be normal gas, right will be for light loads. So this is the basics of it. As we have said earlier, we've only just cut it ourselves and just started being, I'm working with the spring lengths to, to suit, which we'll have to then balance with the loads and the springs. So this is it for a start. So you know as much as we know at the moment of where we're at with pulling it apart and working on it. So enjoy the journey with us.